Hey, how you doing? We got this old grape barber here with a bunch of nice grapes on it. We got to pick them every year. And uh, we make some wonderful grape juice. I say we. My wife and daughter make wonderful grape juice out of them. I don't know, there's some kind of purple grapes. I don't know if they're Concord grapes or what. But they've, they've been growing them for a lot of years. So we decided to make good use of them. It ain't like in the movies. They don't all get ripe at the same time and have a big cluster. I don't know why, but we pick them like they are. And uh, maybe we'll show you what we do with them to make the, uh, the grape juice after a while. It's a wonderful treat too to just squirt them in your mouth. There you go. Hey, pick some more of them here. And uh, I know that's all I got time to do today. I, the ladies, they're not gonna work on them today. They're doing tomatoes. It takes them a little while to uh, to do the grapes because uh, their feet aren't very big. And to dance on them takes a while. Oh, you don't do it that way anymore? No. Oh, I must've been missing four. Hey, it's early morning. Sun's just not quite over the trees yet over there on the horizon. Uh, you know, the Bible mentions vines a lot, and grapes, and there's all, there'd be six months worth of tractor churches on if I looked at every uh, passage that had to do about grapes and vines and whatnot. But, I don't know, I just felt kind of led to uh, look at uh, John chapter 15. It says, uh, I am the vine. This is Jesus talking. I am the vine, and my father is the husbandman, which is the vine dresser, caretaker. Uh, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it or prunes it that it may bring forth more fruit. Um, then it says uh, in verse five, I am the vine, you're the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Uh, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Now, if I'm a Christian, and if I call myself a Christian, and I'm not producing any fruit, this has got to scare me a little bit. Or if you're, or if you're not a Christian, if you don't abide in the vine, Jesus, you, you're cast into the fire. Now, when the Bible talks metaphorically about things being cast into the fire, it is generally talking about uh, souls being cast into hell and burning forever. And uh, I believe that's what it's talking about here. Uh, I am the vine, you're the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. You know, come to your own conclusions, but, you know. Hey, if it wasn't something you needed to concern yourself with, it probably wouldn't say in Second Peter in the first chapter. Uh, verse 10, give you diligence, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. If you're calling an election, if you're salvation was a sure thing you know you wouldn't have to show diligence to make it sure contemplate this think about it soberly you know the uh, one morning you might uh, find yourself waking up in the back room of a local funeral home 
getting fit for a pine box and it'd be too late. So you may want to think about this here. All right, we'll catch you another time. Have a good week. See you.